Before we start, we'd like to give you a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's continue. You've always heard that sex is a part of love. It's the way you intimately connect with your partner. But how do you know if it's just sex and not love? You enjoy the physical act of sex with your partner, but something is missing. You can't seem to connect with them on an emotional level, no matter how hard you try. You crave intimacy and emotional connection, but it's just not there. You feel like you're going through the motions, but there's no real spark. You try to convince yourself that the physical connection is enough, but deep down, you know it's not. You feel empty and unfulfilled, longing for the emotional intimacy that you crave. You start to wonder if you'll ever find someone who can fulfill both your physical and emotional needs. In this video, we'll explore some signs of sexual intimacy that lacks emotional connection. Physical focus. Have you ever worried that someone wanted you just because of your body? As you lay in bed with your partner, you feel their touch all over your body. You can't deny the physical pleasure you're experiencing, but you can't help feeling like something more meaningful is missing. You've been seeing each other for a while now, but you can't shake off the feeling that there's no real connection between you two. You both engage in sexual activities frequently, but it's always focused on physical pleasure and gratification. There's no real emotional bond or intimacy. You start to wonder if this is all there is to your relationship. Did you know that your brain can experience sexual desire and emotional attachment separately? It's something Dr. Helen Fisher, a love and relationships expert, has explored. This means that it's possible for people to engage in sexual activity without feeling emotionally connected to their partner. Some individuals may even seek out casual encounters purely for physical pleasure, without desiring emotional intimacy or commitment. However, it's important to approach these situations with clear communication and consent to ensure everyone is on the same page and no one gets hurt. Putting your emotional well-being first and establishing boundaries with your sexual partners is crucial in preventing any misunderstandings along the way. Lack of vulnerability and emotional sharing. Are you longing for a connection that goes beyond the physical, where you can openly express your feelings and share your innermost thoughts? Sometimes when you're intimate with your partner, you might notice a lack of emotional connection and openness. It's like there's a wall between the two of you, preventing you from truly expressing your emotions, desires, and fears. You might engage in sexual acts without having those important heart-to-heart -heart conversations that bring you closer together. This emotional disconnection can make it hard for you to open up and share your feelings, and it might even feel like you're emotionally detached during those intimate moments. It's important to remember that emotional intimacy is a vital aspect of a healthy and satisfying sexual relationship. Dr. Helen Fisher has conducted extensive research on the biology of love and attraction. She highlights the significance of emotional connection and vulnerability as crucial elements in building a strong and meaningful bond between partners. Dr. Fisher's work sheds light on how your brain processes and experiences romantic feelings, emphasizing the need for emotional intimacy to create a fulfilling partnership. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. No effort to build a relationship. Do you feel a strong physical attraction to someone yet since they're not the person you envision a long-term connection with? It's like they're up for the thrill, but hold back when it's time to discuss having a relationship. This might be due to past experiences or even fears of losing their independence. Dr. Stanley Totkin, an expert in relationships, says this hesitance could be related to their childhood. People who don't have consistent care may develop what's known as avoidant attachment style, making commitment seem like a loss of freedom. Picture yourself in a relationship that's all heat and passion, but emotionally it feels like hitting a wall. What do you do? Dr. Totkin suggests that understanding your partner's attachment style can be a game changer. And if they're avoidant, your steady and reliable actions can help. Don't shy away from therapy or counseling either. It's like a roadmap for navigating these tricky emotional terrains. Absence of romantic gestures. Do you find yourself experiencing a lack of romantic gestures like cuddling, holding hands, or intimate conversations in your relationship, leading you to question whether there is an emotional connection between you and them? Romantic gestures are often a way for individuals to express and deepen their emotional bond. For example, cuddling and holding hands can symbolize a desire for connection and support. 
and intimate conversations allow for vulnerability and sharing on a deeper emotional level. The lack of romantic gestures may leave you feeling disconnected, as if the relationship is based solely on sexual encounters rather than a deeper emotional bond. Limited knowledge of each other's personal lives. Lastly, how much do you know about them? When couples are emotionally connected, they often take an interest in each other's lives, including their hobbies, interests, and personal experiences. However, when there is no emotional connection, you may have minimal knowledge or interest in each other's personal lives. Can you relate to any of these signs? Share your thoughts on the signs in the comments. If you found this video helpful, spread the knowledge to friends and family. Thank you for joining us and see you soon. Here's the next chapter in our ongoing Psych2Go story series that we've been putting our hearts into. Our stories are more than just entertainment. They're a journey into the realms of mental health and relationships. Be a pioneer and explore our exclusive playlist. Stories that entertain, educate, and empower. What are you waiting for? I see you. Click on our playlist.